Anything to say, to say to me. Won't you tell me where my love can be? Is there a meadow in the midst? Have you seen a valley? Have you seen a valley green with spring? Where my heart can go a journey. Good evening, singing. This is Blaze from the Arts, Culture, and Us, and you are listening to the music of Mr. Dwight Tribble. I have a co-host, Maia, thank you very much, and she's going to take on a lot of responsibility of this beautiful interview while the music is playing. And what I'm going to be doing is what I do every day, enjoy the music. Okay, take it away. Well, first of all, let me say what an honor it is <laughs> to be sitting next to you and to have the privilege of probing <laughs> into who you are and what you are and why you do what you do because I you know I've admired you from a distance and we've been on stage together and I find you to be one of the the high priest of voice the way you evoke spirit the way you you capture your audience with this angelic delivery, if you will. Um, I've always been curious. Where did you get inspired? I, I, thought, I think I was singing before I actually realized it. You know, um, all, you know, it was just something that like happened so naturally, you know, that I, I would go in the bathroom and, mm, you know, and, and as, you know, I'm talking like maybe three or four years old and, and I'd be in there just singing and, and uh, you know, I'm supposed to be taking a bath or something like that, but I'm in there just singing, you know, because I'm, I'm enjoying this experience of the singing. The resonance of the bath. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Even now, I'm trying to get back to that freedom that I felt mm. as a baby, mm. you know, I mean, because it seemed like, you know, I, I didn't have any influences, you know, or uh, any kind of restrictions on me. I was just singing so free. And that's, that's what the bathroom is. You know, it's totally uninhibited. Because yeah. there's nobody but you and, and whatever else is there. <laughs> as we listen, you know, it's, it's a very nurturing um, quality to your singing. I don't care what the tempo is, it's, it's, it's almost like a lullaby, it, it kind of grabs you and makes you feel safe. As an entertainer, you have to have a certain discipline. And when we spoke the other night, you said, well, I have to rehearse at a certain time, period. Is this something that both of you have done pretty much every day of your lives? And if so, how does it lend to who you are today as people? But sometimes I feel like the, you know, I try to practice every day, and some some days I feel like the more I'm practicing, the worse I'm getting. <laughs> but uh, I, I do know that if if I don't practice, you know, for maybe two or three days, it it, it feels like starting all over again. Yeah. Have you ever? <laughs> how often have you had that moment where you personally felt you were there? There are times everything comes together where this it's, it ceases to be us up here playing music, you know, individually and all of that, that all of a sudden everything crystallizes and becomes just one energy, mm. you know, 
and um, that's you know when when you when you really feel that you're serving your purpose really when and and just the the um, the privilege of being able to be a part of something like that when it happens you know I mean that's that's uh, you know that's worth it all you know your voice sounds so much like an instrument is this what you're practicing to do no, I'm just trying to sing. <laughs> but you know what? But singing, you know, because I think instrumentalists, when they're playing their horns, they're trying to sing. Instrumentalists you know? are trying to mimic the voice. Yeah, you know, so so I'm just basically, you know, just trying to to um, not only you know have technique, but you know, but in whatever my spirit is in my sound. You know, because I do believe everybody has their own sound, you know, but then to me I think that that's kind of the problem with a lot of what's going on today is that people don't really work to cultivate their own sound. The commercial. You know, I mean, you know, they, they, everybody works to try to sound like somebody else, mm -hmm. you know, but, you know, I think that, that uh, the, the, the true gift and, and, and where the Spirit's really going to open up and start blessing is when you really start working towards trying to get to who you are. Yes. You know, the depth of who you are and you know, and that's a never ending study, but you know, that's that's where I'm coming from. Over the shadows and the land, a blossom covered Yeah. Hey.